Hi, so I want to show you how to configure the Z calibration plugin. Uh, it's in uh, this one, Clipper Z calibration. It automatically calculates the Z offset for your printer. No matter what you change, it's gonna be always perfect. Okay, so what you need for that for this, it's first it, you need uh, a physical end stop. You cannot use the the probe. Okay, so in your configuration, the Z, you must have an end stop pin set here. You see, I, I edited the virtual probe because it will not work with this. It requires a physical end stop. And, that's, and this is because it needs to touch the, the nozzle and then the, the probe. One thing here, it's uh, if you have a BL touch probe, it will not work with a with a physical button because it uh, needs to be able to to push the button so that one will, cannot i was thinking maybe a, an optical sensor will work with both you could touch the tip of the bl touch to, between the receiver and the the led and the nozzle as well but it's something i will experiment Anyway, let's let me show you how this one works for now. So back to the configuration, you need a physical end stop configured. Then we move to the save Z because we're gonna use this uh, this end stop to to set the Z X. You need to set the position of the the end stop here, and I'll show you how you calculate this. We're gonna home first the X and Y axis. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, you might have noticed I moved the, the my end stop, my whole sensor, it here, and I moved it back here because um, this one is very unstable, and um, because this one moves a bit. You can see it was not, and, and the the magnet from the end stop was sitting on this one. It was not always the same, and uh, after I reset the printer or this one moved a bit, it was not hitting the button anymore. So I just moved it on solid ground, right here. This one is not moving, and I moved the sensor back where I used to keep it. Okay, so I home the X. Let's home the Y. Okay, and now you just uh, move it from here. So let's say you put 16, and you just uh, do it by eye. So put the nozzle as close as you can. Let's set the Y to, I don't know, 16. It's too much, 50. And you just adjust it like this until it's as close as you can get let me get the positions from here so it's 69 right 37 okay and now you, you have two options you could either hit the z calibration but in most cases you're not gonna get it from the first time so now this button gets very useful so you stop it if it crashes into the switch but uh, another option I've, uh, option I found is this just disable all the, the motors and then just uh, by hand you see we can lower it down and we can check if it hits the button or not you see in my case it hits so once you see this now you're sure it's not gonna crash. Let's just hit calibrator. I mean home, all the access. All right, once you have this, um, let's go back to the configuration. So this is the, the Z. Then you have to need to have a, a functional probe config here. 
so nothing special here this is just the G code to activate the servo and the Z calibration sec section is this one oh, and I forgot to in order in order to enable this Z calibration you need to go to search on Google calibrate Clipper Z calibration, you'll find this GitHub page. You only need there are two two versions. You either download everything from here, downloads it, and you use the installed script, just run this and it will do everything. Or if you want to do it manually, just copy only this file and you go to where your clipper installation is. Usually it's in, in the home folder. You have a clipper in here you have the folder clippy extras and you just copy it here you see i have it here z calibration part and that's it you just restart clipper and uh, the plugin is gonna work then you need to add this section z calibration and uh, you need to put these settings so this one is optional because i already have it set in uh, save z home here then switch position is the position of the so it's uh, this one you need to touch with this part the one next to the button that switch there so you're gonna do exactly the same as before you if you have like a servo uh, you're gonna need to do something like uh, this set servo angle and just uh, let me show you so I'm gonna put it to zero you see it lower it down and now you just uh, use the settings from x and y this is the same as before you can also disable the all the motors and lower manually so it doesn't crash once you have that data, this one it's uh, easier to get because it's not as precise, as small as the tip of the nozzle. You just set the position here. Bedix position is just the position where it's gonna the probe is gonna touch the bed. I usually put it around the middle of the bed. Switch offset it's the the travel of the button. Uh, this one how many millimeters it's when the button is pressed mine are not nothing special i just took them from a, so this is where i source mine <laughs> from an old mouse it has right click left click and mouse click third click and i just disoldered these buttons so and i just bought it it's a uh, all-in-one and stop on a small board but I also for the bad one that one is just one of these and uh, because I have problems with this um, this probe I'm just gonna show you in a second I started building this one it's uh, one with magnets it's Euclid style probe or clicky probe the clicky has three magnets but i'm just using the euclid style with two because i only have this and one problem i'm having you see these magnets need to be the other polarity so normally this one should attract to this one now it's the other way around and yeah i don't know i'm gonna solve this one but this is for another video this is the button and ma margin offset it's the the amount of space between the nozzle and the, the the probe from here to here if it's out of this range it will give you an error okay now i'm gonna show you some stuff so we have the probe lowered let's put it back so just uh, put the probe in the middle of the bed so let's try like uh, 70 okay and the X maybe like 125 okay and now we're gonna run probe accuracy and what it does it just probes again and again 
can see the probe and you can see the setting. As you can see, mine is very inaccurate. And you can see the range is um, 0 0.22. Uh, you need to have this one around 0 0.00 something or at least 0, 0.0 something, not 0 0.2. So it's, this one is not usable. It's more than one layer high. Um, I tried to print with this one and I'm having problems, of course, because it's too big error. Anyway, I just wanted to show you. So the, the accuracy of the, the plugin, the Z calibration will depend on the accuracy of your probe so first thing you need to fix this one if you are having issues so it's switch position i was using 113 for x we need to lower the the servo okay and uh, this one is not good right now so let's Adjust it again. Let's say 130. Yeah, I think it's right. Okay, so we're gonna update it here to 130. Everything else looks fine. And now we need to reset the firmware. Okay, let's home all the axes again. Okay, and now we're gonna do a calibration Z. First time is the nozzle, next is the probe. Okay, and now it's gonna probe the bed. Okay, now it has all the settings. And uh, you can see here all the probing uh, positions, the nozzle, the probe, and the bed. This is the offset calculated here. Okay, so you see it's 1.663. Here it's where the offset margins comes in. So I initially had it between minus 1 and 1, and it was giving an error here because it's out of range so we can just increase this one as much as you need okay and this is your new this is how you calculate your z offset all the time and uh, as long as you have a good probe accuracy this one will get perfect every time okay that's it hope you found it useful enjoyed it like and subscribe if you want to see more